VTP pruning is a feature that optimizes the flow of VLAN traffic across trunk links in a network. By default, when VLANs are created on a switch in VTP server mode, information about all VLANs is propagated to every switch in the VTP domain. This means that traffic for VLANs that do not have active ports on certain switches is still sent across the trunk links, wasting bandwidth. VTP pruning solves this issue by preventing unnecessary VLAN traffic from being forwarded to switches that do not need it. When VTP pruning is enabled, a switch analyzes which VLANs have active ports on other switches. If a VLAN is not active on a particular switch, the upstream switch will prune or block traffic for that VLAN on the trunk link to that specific switch. This process reduces the amount of broadcast, multicast, and unknown unicast traffic on the network. For example, if VLAN 20 is only used on switch A and switch B, but not on switch C, the trunk link leading to switch C will not carry any traffic for VLAN 20, conserving bandwidth. VTP pruning works by dynamically modifying the VLANs allowed on a trunk. Normally, all VLANs are allowed on a trunk, but with pruning, VLAN traffic is only forwarded if there are active devices, host ports, in that VLAN on the receiving switch. Switches use VTP advertisements to share information about which VLANs are active on which switches, and this information is used to determine which VLANs should be pruned on each trunk link. It's important to note that VTP pruning does not affect the VLAN configuration on the switch. It only controls the flow of traffic on trunk links. Pruning can be enabled globally on a switch by using the VTP pruning command.